So Shopify has announced so many new changes and updates and new features lately. It's honestly a little bit hard to keep track of. They put out this beautifully designed page that explains all the new features. However, it was still a lot to go through. So I made some notes and I'm just going to rapid fire everything that I am personally excited about. So I have been listed as a Shopify expert since 2013. So I've seen so many different evolutions on the platform, just of how everything's changed of features as well as the overall design of everything. And these are the things that I'm the most excited about and as a Shopify expert, but also excited to implement into my own e-commerce stores as well. Okay. Let's just jump into it. So the first off is that Twitter is now shoppable. So if your audience is on Twitter, hey, guess what? It is easier now to put your products in front of them as well. And that's a very exciting thing that I saw out. They now integrate with a bunch of different platforms like Pinterest, Facebook, all of these different things to integrate and make it a lot easier to show your products and get people to shop without even leaving the platform. So the fact that Twitter was added to the list is a huge bonus as well. They also have recently released Link Pop, which is a link in bio that is also shoppable as well, which is helpful for other platforms. And it gives you another way to just make it a little bit easier for people to shop your store. Another feature that I'm excited about is Dovetail, which is influencer management. So this is something that they've recently incorporated and it's a way that you can easily find creators that are have an audience that is related to your ideal customer and you can then reach out to these different influencers and even manage different affiliate campaigns to just track how well everything is going. I am so excited because I do feel like influencer marketing is a huge core part of a lot of different e-commerce stores marketing plans. So I think that having this all kind of integrated again in your Shopify store is going to be really helpful as well. And it means that you don't have to go do other third party apps to manage this. Just comment below and let me know if you'd be interested in that. And if you were thinking about using influencer marketing for your store as well. Okay. So now let's talk about all the different ways that you can now take payment through Shopify because I am very excited about this. So there's already Shopify markets where you can more easily sell internationally, which is great. Plus also different functionality with the Shopify pay, which is their kind of quick pay option. They now have the option where you can set up monthly installment options. So they're doing more of this buy now pay later option, which I think is just going to be even more prevalent for e-commerce. And I'm excited to see that they're incorporating that into the platform. And I'm also very stoked that they have finally, I mean, finally added to where you can have multiple discount codes in the checkout at one time. I personally feel like I have requested this for years and I am so excited that now I can have a discount code plus also a free shipping promotion set up as well. Like, come on, this is a long time coming. Thank goodness it is finally there now. And I'm excited to be able to finally use this functionality because it should have been there honestly years ago, but you know what, we're moving on. Next, they announced that they had eight new free themes as well as 10 new premium themes in the Shopify theme store. I just released a video talking all about how to find your perfect theme when you're picking out Shopify theme designs. So make sure to check out that video maybe up here or in the description below if you're looking for more themes and you're interested to see what these new themes have in terms of capabilities and design. They also released more functionality with meta fields where you can actually add a meta field to a customer. So you can target them based off of where they came from and add that meta field in like they came from TikTok, And then you can do a discount code specifically for any customers that have the meta field of TikTok and came from there. It's really cool how they're letting you target and segment your customers more. And I think as you start building this out and implementing some other new features that I'm about to talk about, I think it's going to open up a lot of different possibilities for automation and for really being targeted with your marketing so that you're not just blasting out things to everyone and you're being really specific and targeted with your marketing efforts, which is just going to honestly pay off more as well. Okay. So now let's talk about some of the new features that are going to help you run your business more. I am very excited that they have announced that Shopify flow is now available for anyone on the Shopify plan, which is the $79 a month plan or higher, because this was only available for Shopify plus merchants only. 
and it is so helpful in setting up different workflows for your business. So talking about that segmenting, once you're adding in these meta fields and segmenting your customers more, you can add in different workflows to make sure that everything is organized and that your automations and your systems are running smoothly. You can also integrate Shopify flow with other apps. So you can have a message go to a Slack channel or a Google sheet or whatever it is that your team is already using to run your business. So that again, it's implementing and working with your current systems and really just perfecting that a little bit more. They have different workflow templates already that you can start using for like inventory tracking or fraud protection, and you can build your own. So it's a really cool functionality that I'm so excited that they opened up for a lot more of the people using the Shopify platform. And also they've changed around how the apps are now integrated into your Shopify store. So before you click on apps and you'd go to a page that had all of your apps there. Now they've changed around the navigation a little bit. I don't know that I'm a hundred percent like excited about it, to be honest. Um, maybe just because I've been using the old way for so long that it feels really new. I'll let you know, maybe I'll, I'll come back and be okay with it in a few months, but it is just a new design and setup um, that you're just going to have to kind of get used to as you're trying out new things. If you are new to Shopify though, it may make it a little bit easier for you because it's still going to be all on that left sidebar and where all of your other features are. So it's not like you're having to navigate to a different area. So you know what, as I talk about it now, it's probably going to be something that I end up liking, but for right now, I'm just like, oh, it's different. <laughs> And lastly, I feel like Shopify's added in a lot of new features that are going to really help small businesses that are just starting out. I think the last few years of the pandemic really kind of hit small businesses hard and a lot of businesses started to see, okay, these are the things that I need. And a lot of that was access to capital. So having different features like Shopify balance, as well as Shopify capital is a really helpful way of them helping small business owners. So Shopify balance and capital are not really new, but they have gone in and added some improvements for them. So if you're looking for more funding or a better way to just run and manage your business, this can be a really great time to go ahead and switch over and use Shopify balances like your bank account that you have all of your transactions go into and you pay expenses from as well as Shopify capital and they've increased the funding for first time borrowers as well. So those can be helpful ways to support small businesses. And the last thing that I'm excited about is Shopify planet, which is going to be easier for you as a business owner to offer carbon neutral shipping. So if that's important to you or your customers, you now have an easier way to integrate that into your business and be able to showcase that then on your site that you're able to offer this kind of shipping setup and functionality so that we're all being more mindful and doing our part as well as small business owners. Okay. That was a lot of different stuff. I know there was even more that I didn't even cover and there is so much that was released, but I would love to hear what are you excited about? Have you tried out any of the new features yet? Um, make sure to comment below and let me know what you are excited about and anything that you wish that they had included that you've been asking for for a while as well and that you haven't seen yet. Make sure to comment below and let us know. And while you're down there commenting, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be the first to be notified when I put out new videos all about Shopify and how to grow your e-commerce store.